Hi from Catalina's. We're talking birthdays today. Uh, the brewery in question is De Merschelertel from Northern Holland. And I'm going to talk about a series of beers which have been released as part of the fourth anniversary birthday celebrations of the brewery. Before I look at the cans, I'm uh, going to have a look at uh, tasting a pastry stout. It is a demersal hurtle and it is called Smroly Mexico. So this is looking, I love the, love the can art, it's like a skull with the brewery logo on it for the eyes. I'll talk about the, the brewery and the logo in a little bit. So we have this stout coming in at a 10%, so it's it's handy with the ABV. And I have poured it into my stout glass, my wine and stout glass, new purchase. And it is looking like it's got a really lovely chocolatey coloured brown mocha, mocha head. The fumes, the, the smell coming off this here yeah, are really, really intense, deep. Um, I can smell chocolate, chocolate cake. There's supposed to be chipotle uh, smoked chilies um, in this. It's supposed to be cinnamon, I believe, as well. So let's have a look at the taste. It's, it's definitely bold. The flavours are really coming through. Kind of quite a burnt, bitter chocolate vibe. Um, baker's, baker's chocolate, I would say. There's a nice kind of oiliness to it. Not too cloying at all. And I think I'll come back to that in a minute, just to let it warm up a bit. So let's move on to Merschlertel. So the translation of the word um, is the wrench or spanner. And that features in their, their branding, in their logo, with the kind of the cross crossbow of um, two spanners or wrenches and they are um, based, like I said before, North, North Holland, um, in a, close to a city called Alkema, um, an, old, an old city, it's supposed to be really pretty, um, certainly um, up for, for travelling there for some beer tourism in the future, hopefully. Um, it has a famous cheese market, about a 42 minute drive to Amsterdam, so not too far away and fairly close to dunes and, and a beach. So um, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a nice, nice place to visit. The brewery was founded by four brothers. Um, they have been what they class themselves as beer engineers since 20, 2016. So four years ago, hence the fourth anniversary um, celebrations. And we were lucky enough to meet Rob at Suds and Soda in Derby, bar bottle shop in Derby, November time last year. And he was really giving of his time. He was happy to talk about the development of the brewery and what plans they've got for the future. Clearly really passionate about moving things forward and um, hopefully get to, get to meet them again um, at some point in the future. So they have released four beers, four cans, as part of their, their celebrations, their four year anniversary. And it kind of goes down the, down the route of a meal. Um, so it starts off with the aperitif. So the aperitif is um, a 
quadruple berry sour. It has the ubiquitous berry fruits in it, um, so the quadruple, the four, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry and blackberry with a good dose of vanilla. So this should be a big mega, uh, mega berry um, vibe there. And with all the cans, they've got um, a star sign, a zodiac star sign on each of them. And I do wonder whether that may be the star sign for each of the brothers. It's possible. If anybody does know, let me know. But I'm kind of guessing they're reading between the lines. So this one is the Virgo. So uh, 7%. So should be good. Very fruity. Let's just go back to my um, Mexi cake. See how the flavours are developing. Chocolate's coming through more now. The, there is a heat with the chilli, as you'd expect. It's not massive. Um, it, it's, it's quite subtle. And it's a nice addition. Sometimes with chilli beers, it can it can, can really, really change a stout for me. Um, you have the, the non-chilli version and then the chilli version at, at a later date, and it, it can really change it. But that... That is subtle. Yeah, it's good. Not bad at all. Right, let's move on to number two then. So again, <coughs> moving on to the <coughs> excuse me to the starter. So the starter is um, a dipper. It's a DDH, DDH dipper. Um, three hops: Citra, Laurel, and Centennial. So hopefully, a tropical, refreshing, and hoppy. Um, offering there. So 8% and this star sign I think is, yeah, it's Pisces. So uh, probably one of the brothers um, star signs, possibly. Let's move on then to dinner, the main event. And this one is a barrel aged imperial stout um, coming in at a handy 13%. Um, Gemini for the star sign and um, yeah that, that should be that should be interesting particularly with the barrel aging and finally we have the dessert the pudding and this one is 18% I'm not sure I've had a had a stout at that strength there's possibly one a brew dog stout Tokyo, I believe, um, that probably was similar. So this one is huge, it's massive, um, and it's everybody's favourite. It's double chocolate stout. So we're talking <coughs> cocoa nibs, cacao nibs from um, Peru, so Peruvian, and from Ghana, so Gar Ghanese and Peruvian. Um, so it's dessert, um, the dessert, it's freeze distilled double chocolate stout. So something new um, for me anyway, I haven't heard of freeze distilled before. I'm not sure whether it's, um, it's widely out there. Um, I'm sure Phil will have, but I haven't. Brewdog, possibly. Um, so yeah, so it should be should be a bit of fun. The whole series, I don't think we'll have them all in one night. I think we might spread them out a little bit, um, elongate the the celebrations, the party vibe. So yeah, so very very much um, looking forward to them. Demersula at all only really introduced to them in the last year or so. So um, don't know where they were for the first two or three years. Obviously building up their name. Um, but really pleased to have found them and always happy to to look out for anything new they bring up they bring out um, luckily we can get quite a few of them in this country now so uh, that's good news so just going back to my stout it's um it's a it's it's not one that you would tip back particularly freely um it's, it's going to be a sipper for the evening i think but um definitely recommend it it's a bit of fun and it's definitely got that cake pastry style uh, vibe um, so very much enjoying it so until next time I will say tip it on back cheers <laughs>